Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This video is all about the Mr. Control Bag by Lee Gear. Now I've taken your feedback and I've tried this camera angle out in my other channel and I think that this setup should be much brighter than what it was before because I know a lot of you said that the previous video where I was talking about my invert bandolier was kind of dark. And so hopefully this looks better for you guys. But the only thing I have to say is that you have to pardon the mess here because <laughs> this is basically my work table and I've dumped a lot of stuff here because it's all related to whatever I'm going to be talking about in this video. So please pardon me. Uh, part of the reason why I went for that dark background look was because I wanted to kind of find a way to mask all of this jank and this mess up. I've been in this room for like what, the past 27 years now? So it's been... Uh, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. And I admit I'm not the neatest person and when it comes to stuff like EDC, uh, we all have a tendency to be hoarders to a certain degree, right? So yeah, I've got a lot of junk and I do apologize. Anyway, hopefully this camera angle is better. Hopefully the video is brighter and so you guys can see things clear a little bit. But yes, now with that out of the way, let's talk about this pack over here. Now I must say that initially I got this pack for personal reasons, I had no intention to talk about it, to review it. But this particular pack has been getting a bit of traction lately, a bit of popularity, especially in the EDC Singapore Facebook page, where I'm quite active. I mean, at least I like to think that I'm quite active. And I noticed that quite a lot of people had the misconception that this was a chest rig. But because I actually owned one, I started to talk to people about it. And I started to ask other owners, asking them whether or not I got something wrong, or maybe I received something different from them that this was not a chest rig. As you guys can see, I'm actually wearing it just like a shoulder sling pack. And this is how I actually received it. The person that actually helped me procure this was my buddy Fu Jun Yao. So thank you so much, Jun Yao. I really appreciate you helping me getting this. You are hashtag the real deal motherfucker. And <laughs> you are an inspiration to many, especially to me. But yeah, I got this through him and he also received this in the same configuration. And so because of that, that misunderstanding or the misconception or that kind of confusion that people had, uh, it, that basically inspired me to want to make this video. So I thought, you know, just shared with you guys. Now, I first got this because I too thought that this was a chest rig or a chest uh, pack. And if you guys have been following my channel, a few videos ago, I shared with you guys my experience about going to the beach and doing a cleanup. So my buddy Shu was carrying a shoulder bag and she was carrying it quite high up. And then I realized that she actually had nothing in her pockets. I think like she was wearing a wetsuit from her waist down or something like that. So there was no pockets there and she was easily able to just wade into the water, you know, pick stuff up, trash and everything, uh, you know, half submerged in the water and I was thinking, well, that's a pretty good idea because, you know, it was my first time uh, experiencing doing a beach cleanup. So I had like stuff in my pockets, you know, my phone and everything. And I thought, well, that's kind of cool. If I'm ever going back to the beach to do a cleanup again, then that could be a viable option if I were to have like a shoulder bag or a chest rig, you know, where everything that I needed was located on my upper body. And so fast forward a couple of weeks later, Jun Yao actually showed me a picture of himself carrying the Lee Gear Mr. Control. And I was like, that looks cool. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to get one. So first of all, the price point on this is about $120, and I'm not going to give you an exact price because there are many places where you can get one of these bags and there's also different materials that this is made in like there's a Dyneema version as well the one that I have is made in wolf grey which is a different shade of wolf grey when compared to my invert bandolier so I'm starting to think that different people have different shades of or different manufacturers I should say have different shades of wolf grey which is well, which kind of irks me. So different materials will cost a different price and of course a different seller or merchant will also sell it to you at a different price. So that is actually about, I would say 90 to 100 US dollars. So keep that in mind. And now you guys can see that I've actually filled this up quite a bit. There is still room in this where I could put more stuff. It's not completely filled to the brim. It's not bursting as it seems. It's about 90% filled. So let me just start by first taking out whatever's inside so I can talk to you guys about the different compartments that are on this particular pack. So here we go, let's start from the outside. My zip out here is charging cable for my phone. Now you guys see I'm throwing stuff here, right? So that's where the mess kind of adds up, right? So please pardon me. In here, I don't think there's anything. Yep, there's nothing in here. On this side over here is a little Aurora flashlight by Roby Vaughn. I hope you guys can't see that. If you can see that, okay, you know what? I'm gonna just, let me flip this over so that that won't be a distraction. And then I have my Spider Knox Rambler here. I don't think there's anything else in this pocket here. Yep, that's right. So now on to the main compartment. This is where a lot of stuff is. So first of all is the power bank. Then we have my Para 3. I have, uh, well, this is slightly bigger than an Altoids case, but this is all first aid. Uh, so yeah, I have a first aid kit in here. 
hand sanitizer, but this is a slightly smaller bottle because this is, uh, yeah, it's more convenient. Got my wallet in here because, yeah, you know, I was talking to you guys about having everything on my upper body, so wallet's in here as well. We got some wet tissue because you guys know I need wet tissue. <laughs> oh, and guys, I upgraded my tech just a little bit. I now have Bluetooth earbuds, so these are the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. This is going to surprise you, but I actually have an umbrella in here. Yeah, guys, this is quite a quite a dope umbrella, by the way. Oh, there's one more thing. Right up here is a slot that holds my pen. And that's everything out. So this pack, guys, this pack came exactly like that without the patches, by the way, without the patches. It did come with a Ligia patch. So initially, I put a Ligia patch here and I was thinking, that's kind of strange because you actually have the Ligia branding here and then you have another Ligia patch, like the same branding twice. So I took it off and I actually have three different patches here now. Shout out to Ben, you know, the Penguin Commander, Mamu Penguin here. I got this little Ranger Eye patch. I like it a lot. This is my own personal patch, the Know Your Worth patch. If you guys want to snag one, you got to get it soon because it's selling out a square PVC Ranger patch by Faye Industries, uh, which is quite cool because it's red. And I've basically got all these red zipper poles, right? So yeah, thought it matched. So now let's talk about the pack and the quality and everything. So on the front here, you have a zipper compartment. This is a waterproof or water resistant zipper compartment, which is quite cool. I like this thing. Uh, it's got YKK zippers as well. Uh, initially, the zipper poles that came with it were made of 330 paracord, just a loop with a diamond knot at the end. I think it was a diamond knot, I may be wrong. And then there was a heat shrink tube just holding it. So every single zip had the same thing and I didn't really like it. I felt that it was a bit too rigid. And that's really just my personal taste. It's an aesthetic thing. So I changed it all out for my own zipper poles uh, made of 550 paracord. So yeah, I've got this here on the front. And there's another slot up here with two elastic bands to organize stuff if you need. But the thing is, if you're gonna put a knife here, let me just show you with the Para 3 as an example. Basically the knife will protrude a little bit and uh, yeah, it might not be your thing because it'll be right there, just like that. And mind you, this is a deep carry pocket clip. If you are using a standard carry pocket clip, then you know that your knife is gonna be sticking out quite a bit. So I don't know how comfortable you are with your knife or any kind of, a, I guess, tool sticking out, protruding outside of the pocket. So yeah, if you want something flush, then, you know, uh, maybe don't use these bands. I don't know, maybe this will hold a, I guess, a notebook, for example. But yeah, just thought I'd highlight that to you guys. And on the right of that, I mean, to your left, I guess, but to my right is another slot with also the same kind of elastic bands that give you a bit more customizing or more organization options. Then on the front here, you see a Velcro panel and then you have some pals webbing here that allows you to attach anything with the Molly system. But I do have to say that this is actually quite narrow. Generally, I think that PALS webbings are about an inch thick. So this is a bit thinner. So if you're gonna attach one of those like Molly clips, like for example, this glow Molly clip here, it's going to be very, very loose. The next thing I wanna point out about this is that while you can attach pouches and whatever, take note that your pouches will very likely get in the way of the zip. So uh, in order to combat that, make sure that you have a zipper pole that is long enough and tall enough that you can easily reach behind whatever you are gonna be attaching. Now onto the main compartment of this pack. The back panel of the main compartment is all loop side Velcro. So this particular organizer here, this flex panel is something that I included or I inserted on my own. On the front here, all you have is three other slots. And these slots here are a little bit stretchy, but yeah, it's just three big slots in there with no other organization options. And that's it for the main pouch. It is quite roomy, I must say. You guys saw how much stuff I managed to put in there. But in terms of organization, uh, you know, you're gonna have to deal with this or you could just add more organizing panels along that loop side back. It's really completely up to you. So let me close this up here and let you guys know that there is a quick access slot on the back. So this is kind of like a card holder that like you could throw a card holder, your credit card, you could throw your keys in there. So this is quite cool because it's always against you. So it's a quick access slot. It is of a Velcro closure. So it's really easy for you to just rip it open, grab what you need and go. Now on top here are two elastic bands. You guys saw that I slipped my pen up here. You could essentially slip like for example, a Marlin spike. Now on the sides here are two even smaller slots. And I believe someone on the EDC Singapore Facebook group said that this could be a coin slot. Uh, I think that, well, you could fit a couple of coins in there. It's just not secure enough because there's no closure. So I don't really know what this is for. I guess you could stash coins, I suppose. Or like maybe you could put like 
a dice. I don't think it could fit a challenge coin in there because it looks kind of narrow for that. But I was initially thinking this could be a slot for you to fit your Grimlock clip in there. But I think it's not because it's too small for a Grimlock. So yeah, I don't know what that really is for, but at least you know that it's there. Now on the bottom here are two other uh, loops here that uh, allow you to slip in like paracord or something. I mean, whatever use that you have. You could hook a carabiner here or something. Maybe you could even attach another um, pack here, something to hang off of it. But yeah, it's there as well. So that basically, guys, is the main compartments and aesthetics and all the features here on this pack itself. Now, I've not spoken about the strap at all. That's where the main confusion lies and that's the kind of main thing that I want to talk about in this video. So you guys can see that I'm wearing this pack on my front. Now, when I saw pictures of this, and I'm talking about like lead years pictures, it also was very confusing and it was a little bit misleading. So you'll see pictures of people wearing it like a chest rig, like that, like a chest pack. Uh, and, and then there are pictures of people who wear it like a traditional sling bag shoulder sling bag I should say that looks like this and while that looks very inconspicuous and looks quite comfortable as well I, I like it that way I think that this is a nicer configuration in my opinion because of the layout and the excess slots and everything but I really want to say that it was confusing now this pack actually came with just this strap and this strap here has a quick release buckle right in the middle and it is adjustable only on one side which is the standard strap side and on the other is a padded side that features some kind of a webbing here or some slots here. I, I don't know what this is actually called, but it does look like some Pels webbing where you can actually attach stuff. I guess you could say like a bandolier where you can slip in shotgun shells, but you know, here in Singapore, there's no firearms. So yeah, what am I seeing, right? And on one side, you're supposed to attach it via the Grimlock clip like that. So this pack actually comes with one Grimlock clip. The second one here was one that I attached on my own. Once again, the second one didn't come with this pack. It only came with one Grimlock clip. On the sides here is another quick release buckle. I believe this is known as the tubes sort of quick release buckle. And I apologize if I get the name wrong. That's what I know it as, the tubes thing. So um, you can pull it off really quickly and you'll see that it has the main attachment slot one on either side okay i'm gonna take this one off because i don't want to mislead you guys as well so let me just take this off i'll put this aside because the pack looks like this it's got the two plastic tubes attachments but it comes with only one tube attachment on the strap so yeah guys once again i'm going to clear the confusion here this is what it came with just this strap with one tubes connector two on the pack one grimlock clip and the other side is just a loop based on the strap so there are a total of two attachment points for the Grimlock and two attachment points for the tube clip. So you're very limited in terms of how you want to connect this thing together and how you want to set it up. It's always generally going to be in a diagonal configuration. Either you're going to connect it here and here, here and here, or on the same side, which creates a huge loop and then you're going to just sting it from your neck. I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it, it's going to be a bit off balance if you connect both on the same side. But you know, to each his own, if that's the way you want to rock it, by all means go ahead for you to wear it as a chest rig a proper chest rig that is secure enough is to get two of these straps from Lee Gear and then you're going to have to probably have it in the cross back configuration so yeah that's that's the misconception and I really wanted people to know that this is essentially a shoulder bag in my opinion yeah I was confused at first and I was thinking I want to use this as a chest rig or a chest pack and I was a little bit disappointed although I must say that it's a pretty good shoulder bag now the quality on this is really good it's top notch it's really value for money I completely forgot to mention this guys but the top zipper here is also waterproof so that's another plus point and so far I've been using it no rips at all as well the shoulder strap is quite comfortable i did however try to switch the configuration up uh, to illustrate that better this is the Lee Gear tubes clip and uh, i'll be honest with you guys i don't even know if they are licensed to actually produce this because from what i understand at least i think first spear holds the rights to it they actually own this technology so i'm just going to assume that Lee Gear does have the rights to produce this but you notice that there is a slot right there so yeah you could actually just remove the uh, strap like that from that tubes thing so you could swap sides and the same thing for the Grimlock clip you could just swap sides and initially I tried to wear it in the configuration where I had this padded side on my shoulder and then have the uh, standard strap going around the side instead but after a while I realized that it was kind of scratching my neck and this part this part right here was like a little bit itchy so yeah I, I didn't really like that on top of that because this loop here is a bit wider compared to 
the loop here on the padded side. What happened then was that this was always slipping out of that particular tube's clip. Like yeah, I, for some reason, I don't know why, it would just like kind of slip down and it would just come out like that. See how simple that was? So that happened a couple of times and then my whole pack just kind of flopped off. So I eventually changed it back and I realized that I guess it's the same configuration that everyone else who owns the pack is using. So this would be on the side and this side would be across your shoulder instead. Next, I was hell bent on trying to make this into a chest rig. So what I did was first of all, source out an extra tubes connector. You guys saw that I had two, right? This is the Lee Gear one. This is the one that came with the pack. This is an official first spear tubes connector. But because the tubes connector was a solid piece, I actually dremeled out my own slot. So yeah, I had to make the slot myself. And I was quite happy that this actually fit because prior to that, there was someone on the EDC Singapore Facebook page that was selling some extra tubes connectors. And so I thought, you know, that could solve my problem. I reached out and I bought a set from him. Let me just show you guys his proof. I got another two here and it's the full set of connectors. So you're gonna have to pardon this part. But yeah, this one's quite cool because it has a slot, but it has another extra two nubs here that offered a bit more security in terms of holding and gripping onto the strap. And I was very happy with this. Unfortunately, I think tolerances were a bit different uh, and this, it's just so super tight. Now you guys see, I'm actually struggling to remove this and take it out, split it apart. So this part of the tubes would just simply not fit onto the connector on the Lee Gear pack. So I was really disappointed and I was like, ah. So in the end, I bought a shoulder strap from First Spear and then just took out the two tubes connectors and then thank the stars, it actually could work on the Lee Gear Mr. Control Pack. So uh, that's a bit of trouble that I went through. In case you want to get some extra tubes connectors, just either get it straight from Lee Gear if they are selling separate tubes connectors or get First Spear tubes connectors because it's only these two that I know of that actually fit. And the next and the final piece of the puzzle to make it into a chest rig was to get what? I guess some people will call a harness strap. But yeah, I found something that looked like that from Hazard 4. And I gotta tell you guys, this thing works. I forgot the exact name of this thing. I think it's some anatomic something. It's got a cool uh, PVC patch here. I mean, it's not a removable patch, it's just sewed on. And I've got it adjusted for my use, but yes, this was the final piece of the puzzle. And it would sit behind my neck just like that on my shoulders. And I apologize for wearing a black t-shirt. I should have thought this through earlier, guys. So I apologize. I'm sorry. But yeah, it sits like that. So let me just slip this onto the Lee Gear Mr. Control and show you guys the final result. And I need to start by attaching the tubes connectors first. So this tubes connector is the right side one. This is how I work, guys. I talk to myself all the time. <laughs> Now we grab the Mr. Control Pack and I start from the left side because I'm left-handed. So first of all is this Grimlock. Grimlock slips on and then we're going to attach the first tubes connector. Strap this like so. It goes around, get this Grimlock. Slip it in there. This goes around the back and around the side. And finally, we're going to connect the tubes connector and we are good to go. It is now a proper chest pack or a chest rig using the Hazard 4 harness. I'm just calling it harness now. Sorry Hazard 4, I forgot what this product name is. I'll put the name on screen, I promise, okay? So yeah, it's some anatomic thing. But yeah, it's really comfortable, I gotta say. Like, these, these things are so well padded. It does feel almost like a backpack, so I'm quite happy. So with everything, that, that's what it looks like. So I finally set it up in this particular configuration and uh, tried it out. Went to work with it, carried some stuff, my power brick and everything, and it was really comfortable. I understand that some people like to carry their chest pack or chest rigs a bit lower, but for me, I like it to be a bit higher up here because I have a belly, you know? <laughs> I don't want to accentuate my belly <laughs> by having a pack on the belly that sticks out even further, right? <laughs> Just a personal preference, but this is how I've got it set up now, guys. I just want to share this with you. So if you want to make the Lee Gear Mr. Control into a chest rig or a chest pack, I don't know what's the right term, so I'm just going to say chest rig, okay? So chest rig. Then you got to get three things in general. First of all, it's an extra Grimlock clip. Second, it's an extra tubes connector and get the one inch one, not the two inch one. And then last but not least, you need to get yourself a harness or a kind of a chest rig strap some kind of a strap set up. If you don't want to use your own configuration and you just want to follow the Lee Gear style, then just make sure that you can procure an extra strap from Lee Gear, like the Mr. Control strap. 
So then you have to wear it cross back. So I don't know how that is. I don't know how that would feel. But I got to say that right now, this thing is very comfortable uh, for me because I've got it set up for me. And basically that is it. All in all, I think that the Mr. Control is a solid pack. Of course, I'm not an expert reviewer in this realm, but I got to say that this is really like value for money. Some of you may feel that this is a bit expensive, but I got to say that I know that Liga is a reputable brand and they put out really good quality products. And this is one of those high quality stuff. Yeah, a lot of small little details that go into this seemingly plain looking pack and I like it a lot. There's many different color options as well. There's multicam black, there's black, there's wolf grey, there is desert and there's ranger green I think. And there's also one made in Dyneema. So now that I've got this set up, the next time I head out to the beach for a beach cleaning session, I'm going to be using this to carry all my personal valuables and belongings. So yeah, the whole reason why I wanted this, this chest rig is because of that. Uh, you know, looking forward to actually going back to the beach to help out with another cleanup session. And in general, I also think that here in Singapore, wearing a chest rig out is a little bit more acceptable nowadays. A lot of delivery riders are actually using chest mounted bags or chest I don't want to call it a chest rig, like those are really like just a, a little small little pouch or a pack right in the middle because delivery riders are really really essential to our economy now and a huge part of the way of life here. So I think that helped to normalize things a little bit so I don't get much stares and I can just happily put whatever patch I want here and just walk out, you know, like hands free, no obstruction. I could just, I mean, you guys know, you guys know, so I don't have to talk about that much. And that is it everyone. Thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you like the content that I'm putting out and you want to see more, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, make sure that you hit the bell to be notified of any new uploads that I put out. Also, I run a Patreon page. I'll put a link up here to that in case you want to go check it out. I do have Patreon exclusive posts and I do run some Patreon exclusive giveaways from time to time. So if you do become a patron of mine, thank you so much in advance. It really means a lot to me. Once again, everyone, this is the Lee Gear Mr. Control Pack. It is not a chest rig, please don't get confused. It initially came as a shoulder bag. And I'll catch all of you in the next slice of my life. Until then everyone, gaga boost.